Good old friends, how are you? I know it's been a long time coming for this video, but I'd been busy with so much stuff. I just didn't get the time to. But there we are finally. And before I say anything else, I just want to make one thing really clear. There is no doubt there are a lot of issues concerning women all over the world, be it developed nations and especially more so in developing nations. There are still problems that need to be dealt with. But feminism is not the answer to those problems. I myself personally fully support women's empowerment and I have the same vision about women's role in society and family as any woman herself would have for herself or her daughter. But my view is not based on the same principles as feminism. There's a fundamental, fundamental difference between the basic ideas and principles of feminism and my ideas and vision for women. My ideas are based more on feminism, which I wouldn't discuss in this video because this video is not about feminism, but it is about feminism. Now, I always say that feminism is based on wrong ideas and wrong principles. Today, I'm going to go a step further and say that feminism is actually driving the society in a wrong direction. Now, I will give you enough reasons in this video to explain what I mean. And while giving those reasons, you will actually get an idea what feminism is about and uh, why, why my viewpoint is different than feminists. Now, it's a big issue. Let's start by just considering this. Feminists would love us to believe that all the empowerment in this world has happened because of feminists, which could be nothing further than truth because feminists came in on the scene a lot later than those people who had actually started the work for women's empowerment. Now, renaissance happened a long time back and women's empowerment started much further down the line. However, renaissance changed the way society looked at things. Religion was questioned for the first time. That was a time when there were men like myself who saw that there was, some, there was a lot going wrong with women in the society. Something had to be done to uplift the condition of the women in the society. Raja Ram Mohan Roy. It's a name many people outside the Indian subcontinent won't know. But he was one of the many social reformers of the colonial days who saw the plight of women in the Indian society and who, along with others like him, took it upon themselves to fix what was going wrong. Widow remarriage, uh, end of Sati Pratha and many other things, they were actually actively involved in those, uh, in those activities. And I'm sure there were men like Raja Ram Mohan Roy everywhere in this world who actually worked to uplift the condition of the women. But they were not feminists and they were not feminists because their ideals and principles were not the same as the ideals and principles of feminism. However, I'm sure feminists would love to take credit for their work by saying that they, they were feminists. Now, that's not true. And if we say that all the empowerment has happened because of feminists, then we would be denying credit to the work of those men, which I'm not ready to do that. Feminists say that the world was male dominated and from male's male point of view and that women were not empowered. Well, if that was a scenario, how would have the feminists achieved empowerment in a male dominated society? The empowerment happened because there were always men like Raja Ram Mohan Roy who saw that something was wrong and something needed to be done. There were men like myself who wanted to do something for the women, to uplift the women. And that's how empowerment happened. Yes, feminists did play a role, but whatever feminists have done has actually harmed the society more than done anything good for it. We'll get back to the, uh, that a bit later in this video. Let's start by digging a bit deeper into feminism. Now, feminists would love me to believe that I, my best interest is the same as the best interest of a woman, but nothing could be further from truth than this. I am not the same as a girl. Morphological and physiological differences aside, there's a big difference in my psychology and a girl's psychology. We are worlds apart. Men and women are two entirely different types of the Homo sapiens species. 
Feminists themselves say that women are a lot more compassionate than men. In fact, some of the uh, feminist experts in uh, legal field, the legal academics who are feminists, they say that law lacks compassion because it's from male perspective and that law needs to be from female perspective so that it is a bit more compassionate. Now it's another thing that the same feminists go tonkers and bongs against anything in the law which is even remotely a, not in the favor of women. I'll give you an example. I'm studying law at the moment and uh, in law I, we were studying uh, the other day about sane automatism. Now it's a defense raised in murder cases but it's a defense which is raised in very 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 rare cases and even more difficult is to establish this defense if this defense is established the the, the person accused of murder goes free without without any repercussions however as i said it's a defense raised in very very rare cases and successful in even more rare cases However, in the cases in which this defense is raised, less than one third of the cases involve murder of a female partner by her male partner. And the feminists have an issue with that. Now law is based on the concept that human beings are fallible. Its law is designed to take care of human fallacies. Feminists talk about compassion on one hand, while a minor thing like that they forget all about compassion. What they talk does not reflect in their actions. They have different yardsticks for dealing with men and different yardsticks for dealing with women. I don't buy their arguments anymore. They are not compassionate anymore than what a man is logical about things. That's what they say. Women are compassionate, men are logical. Yes, we are logical. That's why I'm talking logic. Although that, uh, that would be a very wrong generalization. And I'm sorry for that. I don't mean to offend women, but that's how offensive uh, some of the concepts of feminism are for a male. Oh, that said and done. It's not just about uh, having uh, uh, different, inter different psychology. Let's take the example of a burning issue in America. Equal work for uh, equal pay for equal work. Now I am 100% in support of that. I want women to be paid equally for the same work that they do as any man would do. However, my reasoning is not the same as the feminists would love me to believe. A woman getting equal pay is not in my interest as a man. To give you an example, say if I'm a businessman and I have to hire one worker and there's a man and there's a woman. I can hire women for cheaper how is it in my interest if I am forced to pay the same amount of money to that woman as I'll, I'll have to pay a man? That doesn't cut ice with me. However, if we take, an, uh, take another example, let's say I'm a man whose wife is working for someone and in her office and a, a man is working and doing the same job as my wife, but the two are getting paid differently, then that becomes an issue which is relevant to me. My wife not getting paid the same as, as that man is not only her right anymore, it's a right of my family which is getting affected. It's not just my wife's right, it's my family's right. When a right becomes a family's right, doesn't matter if it, it, it's a man's right or if it's a uh, woman's right, that's a family's right. And as you can see, where the concept of feminism is coming from. And at, this is how a woman's right becomes the same as a man, a woman's interest becomes the same as a man's interest because they're both from the same family. Feminists believe in me first, women first. Well, that's not the case. Feminists think that family happens sometime later on its own. That's not the case. Both men and women emerge out of the same family. Kids grow up into men or a woman who go out to start their own families, but they are all connected to to one family and the family that they start or will or we will have a partner who would be in a similar position. So a man's interest and a woman's interest, they're both a family's interest all the time. 
that's how a woman's interest is the man's interest and a man's interest is a woman's interest at a family level not at an individual level at an individual level if if you say that women should have equal right uh, equal rights and equal job opportunities that's not in my interest as a man that means they are they're more competitors from uh, uh, competitors that i'm competing with for a job that's not my interest however if if you say that tomorrow if my daughter does not get the same opportunity as someone's son then that becomes my problem because that's my family's problem you see the difference between the two concepts it's a very fine difference but it's a very big difference now the thing is the problem is feminists talk about freedom all the time what is this freedom about this freedom is really actually a one-sided lopsided freedom freedom for women because all the freedom that feminists talk about is about giving the girl the freedom by taking freedom off away from a man male dominated society was a society where men used physical means to discipline women that's that's uh, uh, what 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 is generally said about male dominated society now how is the society that feminists envision different from that society in male dominated society women were, were disciplined by physical means in fe in feminist society men will be disciplined by using law law for this law for that law against this law against that all i see the only freedom i see in a feminist society is a freedom for a girl while all i see is discipline for a man it's nothing but a reversal of the society from male dominated to female dominated feminists call feminists use a phrase male chauvinist pig i call the feminists as female chauvinist pigs they're not they're, they're no different than that but that's because their concepts are based on flawed philosophies let's delve into those philosophies now there's no denying the fact that there were issues uh, there were there were people uh, there were men who used to beat up uh, their wives but every man wasn't a wife beater every society has running jokes how there used to be women who used to dominate their men who used to beat up their beat up their their husband uh, their husbands and uh, there's always been stories and jokes about nagging wives and uh, I'm not saying that every woman was a, nag a, a nagging wife, but so similarly, you can't say that every man was a wife beater. Every man wasn't beating his wife black and blue. In fact, there had been couples all over the world in every society who actually lived really happy married lives. In fact, from where I stand and look at the world, at the Western societies today, the more feminism has actually r risen, the more family structure has fallen apart. If anything, male-dominated society comes out as really conducive for families. While the more feminism has risen, the more families have fallen apart. It's as if families, uh, feminism will destroy the family structure completely. But why is that happening? That's because of the flawed principles feminism is based on. If feminists were to come and say that their achievement for women is broken homes, kids growing up with single parents or growing up in foster parents' home, I actually spit on the feminists. This is not happiness. How can a married, uh, how can a middle-aged woman, live, living alone and lonely, be happy with all the empowerment she has? And it, it's not just about a middle-aged woman. For every middle-aged woman who is li living lonely, there's a middle-aged man living lonely as well because they have all both broken, broken out of of the same home, of the same family. If anything, feminism has actually broken down families. And if this is their achievement, to hell with them. The problem is feminism was started by females who saw their men being flippant, being indulgent, loafing around, loitering around, indulging in, in infidelity and all kind of social evils. And they, they, those women wanted to be able to enjoy in the same way. The only problem was they were women and they couldn't have done that in those societies. So how, do this, how did they solve this problem? they started claiming equal freedom for women. They wanted the women to have the same rights, to, to be equally flippant as men. But that's the problem. That's where the problem starts. Those flippant men, every man wasn't flippant. There were only a few men who were flippant. And those flippant men were not only a problem for the women, they were also a problem for other men. If there, anything was needed, it was to discipline those men. It was to make sure that such flippant men don't rise or the need was to actually teach teach our kids in a way that flippancy was controlled but rather feminists started 
uh, on a way with that would ultimately allow the women to be equally flippant. Now, first we had half the eggs rotten. Now, thanks to feminists, we have the entire egg shelf rotten. Then that's what has gone wrong with the society. That's what's gone wrong with the family structure. And this is what the basic difference between me and feminists is. Feminists want equal freedom for both, uh, uh, for equal freedom for women, which is which actually, in actual reality, means freedom for women, but discipline for men. Whereas I want equal discipline for both, because flippancy destroys families. Flippancy is not something in favor of uh, family structure. It's discipline which maintains families. Now. Let's get to uh, one more example. And this is something uh, which was really outrageous, which I found outrageous. Uh, reading about feminism, I came across um, a feminist work. Uh, I will name her now. And uh, she mentioned how sexuality is from uh, male's point of view. The sexuality that women feel is wrong simply because in a male dominated society, that's the idea that or, or, that's the concept of sexuality which has developed because of male influence and it's not the sexuality which women would feel if men's influence wasn't there i mean firstly how is it possible that uh, men could influence the uh, ideas of sexuality because sexuality was there even before apes turned into human beings leave, leave alone uh, the development of language and society sexuality had been there much before that how could have men influence uh, the ideas about sexuality? It's something which uh, developed naturally. And the other thing is, some of the feminists actually went on further to give examples how women had been faking orgasms over centuries just to please their men. And I was like, man, if we can't trust you women in the most intimate act that we can do with you, how can we even trust you women at all? I mean, the problem is not the example of sexuality. The problem is where this example leads to. Today, feminists uh, are saying that sexuality is from male point of view. Tomorrow, they are going to come and say that my mother didn't love me as much as she did. But it, it was because she had grown up in a male dominated society where men made her believe that uh, women love their kids more than men. And that in reality, my mother wouldn't have loved me the same if it wasn't a male dominated society. If feminists would like to come and tell me this tomorrow, I would rather kick their butts today. A prejudiced mind cannot provide rational arguments or valid solutions, worthy solutions. If you start in a, with wrong ideas, you'll head in a wrong direction and anyone who will follow you will end up in a wrong direction. Now let me make a really controversial statement over here. And given the fact that we are coming towards the end of the uh, end of the video, it's a perfect time to make a controversial statement, I guess. But I'll explain it though. As a straight man, I would rather be called a womanizer or sexist than gay or imbecile. Being interested in women for mating comes naturally to me. If I want to have rela sexual relationships with many women, that's normal. But if I was to be interested in men, then that wouldn't be normal. So that's why I would rather be called a womanizer than a gay. Secondly, for everything feminists say, which I know belies logic, is not in my interest. And if I say something against that, and feminists are going to rise up and say, you are a sexist, I would happily be called that sexist rather than, rather than an imbecile who doesn't even know what is what is really in the interest of men, leave aside what would be in the better interests of the women and the society. A man who can't even reason, who can't even provide logic, I wouldn't, wouldn't be that imbecile. I would rather be happily a, called a sexist. Now, before I close this video, I would just want to mention another video that I will do. In that video, I will explain how you can tell whether a newborn is a boy or a girl but you cannot tell whether that person is going to grow up into a straight person or a homosexual there's something much deeper which goes on in developing sexuality i'll discuss that in that video and in that video I've, i mean it it's not just that uh, uh, who will become homosexual or straight the fact is that you may grow up 
a straight straight person but you may become homosexual later and you may grow up a homosexual but become a straight person later there is nothing stopping that and that's that all boils down to that reasoning which i'll give in that video and in that video i'll discuss a bit more controversial thing that is ch ch child rights now as far as gay marriage is concerned i i'm 100 percent with them because it involves their personal rights as far as uh, child ri child rights are concerned that's where a third party is involved the the answer is not that straightforward and I'm, I'm not just going to discuss uh, gay couples or homosexual couples in that video. I will discuss this with regards to straight couples as well. Hopefully you'll watch that video just like you watched this one.